was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Guan Ping, the adopted son of Guan Yu, said to be the second son of Guan Ding in Nei Bay. Guan Ping trained hard in the martial arts in order to bring peace to the troubled land. One day, Yu Bei and Guan Yu were staying at Guan Ding's home when an eager Guan Ping asked to join them. Through Liu Bei's mediation, Guan Yu agreed to adopt him, as the two shared the same family name. The ties between Guan Yu and Guan Ping would become very strong over time. Guan Ping obeyed his new father faithfully and fought in many historic battles. He respected Guan Yu greatly and tried his very best to live up to his father's expectations. In 209 AD, Guan Yu found himself in trouble during an attack against Cao Ren at Fan Castle. The allied armies of Wei and Wu were so powerful that both father and son found it nearly impossible to escape. Guan Ping fought fiercely and managed to stay alive, but Guan Yu was slain. Guan Ping swore to himself that he would continue to fight in order to honor his father and avenge his death. Before long, an opportunity to face Wu would present itself. Guan Ping avenged his father by defeating Wu. However, the chaos of the land continued. Adopting Liu Bei and Guan Yu's ambitions as his own, he became a very prominent warrior of Shu and fought in many glorious battles. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and continue to fascinate their listeners even today.